All right, so this is a video it's recording about a very hapless individual should have known better, and it's Pastor Peter Chambers. Now, recently he made a very, I want to say damning, like a very unfortunate statement about Prime Minister Andrew Holness, which has landed him in a whole bit trouble, better trouble. So here's what to follow up with this. So let's go. So clergyman shot as Pastor Blast PM. One of the first to say, and Pastor Peter Chambers was seen on video making comments about Prime Minister Andrew Holmes and his family. Two other members of the clergy criticized their colleague. Newton Dixon, president of the Jamaica Council of Churches, and Father Sean Major Campbell, of director of Christ Church in Vineyard Town, kids were surprised with comments. Quote to quote, inciting balance against anyone should never be countenanced, Major Campbell told the star. Dixon added, even though the remarks near Pastor has objections to COVID 19 restrictions, and could brother could have spoken his mind differently. Yeah, I think. If you have been circulated, Chambers could heard saying that that man have to dead. I don't care about what I was saying. I have to go down. The PM has to go down. This man's attacking the church. Posing church, I don't care. Nobody wants to say it because I'm afraid I know. Oh, oh, no. Yeah, so basically, I can surmise that Peter Chambers, apparently, apparently, before becoming a pastor, that he was pretty much about that light. Well, pretty much was a, a, a bad man or like really ran in those circles. You can tell that this guy was. It's not the first time he's had brushings with the law that he's that. Because, like, just having that, say something like that as a man of craft, that makes me think that, hey, he used before he, be, he, be, he became, um, before he joined the church, that he was basically running these streets. Yeah. I can tell you, yeah, because that's what happens that, um, that many people who, these people who, who become pastors or whatever, many of them have been in the streets doing some very, doing, Things against the law. All right. Command officer for the St. Anne Police Division, Superintendent Dwight Powell, said that Chambers' arrest was moved by the part of the video where he said Prime Minister must go down. Chambers was protesting new measures imposed in the church by the government to contain the spread of COVID 19. As of Tuesday, Jamaica has recorded 545 COVID related deaths, with the positive case now of 36,000. 670 and before that, it's risen. There's no numbers keep has kept climbing let, to let y'all know. Dixon told the star is troubled by what was portrayed, what was portrayed in the video. Quote, quote, we've been losing the values and attitudes that foster a kind of more respectful society and has been so special with the motion of social media or usage, he said. Quote, quote, one of the most difficult passages of scripture is still about by B, maybe 1 Corinthians chapter 31 to 8. This is, to me is the definition of love. There's no harm. It's never out of place to encourage those to profess Christianity live and talk in the spirit of love. But let us be honest. Chambers... I suspect was a bad man before he became a pastor. So that is just, he's just basically remaining true to form what's really in his heart. So Dix is urging Jamaicans to pray for the leaders, um, leaders that were necessary to engage him in dialogue, but as respectful and peace building, he said. Chambers also found more than $4,000 and $2,000 at Park Orange Hill, Hill was brown so apartment for which he has been able to give an account. All right. Major Campbell said, based on what he has seen, the church landscape is in bad shape in terms of nonsense that prevails. Quote to quote, Simon is self appointed pastor, so called pastors did not expect to meet any basic requirements for his positions, Major Campbell added. Meaning that some of these people in the church do not vet some of these people when they appoint them, because, because like I said, like there are many cases where they so, so many so called pastors or people of God who are basically have criminal tendencies. They don't really share those criminal tendencies. They'll see that the church as a new hustle that they can really hustle that they can really work with and exploit some very gullible people in the congregation while doing some things outside of God on the side. Now, I was gonna say this with Pastor Peter Chambers. Or initially my when I want to do this commentary, I was gonna say this though. Do we have criticism of the current Prime Minister? Yeah, I'm not going to say that, hey, that Prime Minister Holiness or whoever shouldn't be criticized is uh, so on. But would I advocate openly threatening the dude? No. Even when I've done recordings about the Prime Minister or these other parties, I don't say, oh, them for that, them for this and that. Most of us say, hey, these people need to be held accountable for their actions. They need to face justice. They need to be removed if they're engaging in things that are not that um that that or not or that are immoral but you've never heard me say hey we should go and go go kill and shoot or whatever because there yeah, that is not a smart way to do it though and again it's not me being a fan of the prime minister or whoever but it's just that 
there's a right and wrong way to um wrong way to criticize people all right that really was not the smart thing to do and yeah what is what well, reason why this guy was really up in arms with the restrictions it means because one with the, with the, with the restrictions these churches and this guy i can tell is a hustler he's just saying okay i don't like the fact that a this is cutting to the my to the income that i that hustle that i'm going on with because remember with churches like these other play organizations and groups they have to restrict the numbers of people that they they let into their buildings and as a result of that they lose they make less money and let's just face it this guy was probably banking on banking on the hopes that hey these restrictions will be eased off so i can continue collect all that tithe money which i'm pretty much gonna be pocketed, pocketing for myself on the side because not every that recent allegate stuff has come out this guy yeah this guy is probably pocketing a lot of that church money to do whatever he wanted to do which is not of god of course so that's what he was really mad about he's not really mad about the fact that okay that the COVID-19 um, restrictions making sense. And yeah, after kind of criticism of these this these current restrictions as well, because they're this is basically the government's only card that they have. This is basically all they can really do. They not really have any viable solutions or options to contain this threat because it's not really doing much and in some cases is actually helping to increase the numbers, if you um if you understand, but he could have said, hey, I do not agree with this for whatever reasons. But like then he said, okay, when you th threaten someone who's a high, the leader of a country in a video, that's basically saying, yeah, that's making the black hot though. Because you're basically bringing down the heat to all these church. And these people, clergymen are basically saying, um, okay, so like, we, I'm pretty sure some of them even know what this guy is on. But they said, okay, you're making... We're doing damage control right now. You're making the black hat for all of us now because people are going to be saying, okay, a man of God actually threatened threatened violence on a public of high public official. Yeah, okay. What does the church have to say about this? Because, see, if they don't condemn it, and remember the churches, many, too many of them are very selective about what they condemn or don't condemn. They basically, no, 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 no. Chambers does not speak for all of us. He speaks for himself and himself only. We're distancing ourselves from this. That's what they're saying. Like, don't. Yeah, I mean, like, we may, we probably already know that this guy is a hustler. This guy is pretty much has some criminal tendencies, which he did not shed when he became, when he got, to, he went up, when he went through these church doors. He just basically, he, all right. But the thing is, though, is that he just, just don't, don't associate him with us, though. I mean, like, that's his problem. He's your, he's. He brought this on himself. We're not a part of this. That's what they're basically saying right now. Cause, and let's just be honest though. Chambers is not the only one though. There are a lot of these so-called pastors who were on some funny style stuff as well. But this guy is just um, did not know when to kind of keep him out. Uh, whatever. Cause, uh, and the thing is I'm saying. I say this to the point of that. A, there's a right way and a wrong way to criticize somebody. Like a pub, especially a public official. And yeah, I'm sure some of our so-called leaders, regardless of part to be criticized and be held accountable for their actions, yeah. I'm not going to be the one to say, hey, that the, our leaders are, are perfect as wind-driven snow. They're far from that. But I'm not going to have openly advocating that this and that for happened to them, whether or not they deserve it yet. That's just making the black hot, though. You're just basically just bringing a lot of trouble on yourself, though, and that's not the smart way to do it. Oh, there any yeah, I believe in standing firm and standing out your criticism, but I'm not gonna say boy, so and so public official, whoever owed them they, this and that need to happen to them. I mean I'll say hey, they need to be punished and held accountable for the actions in a court of law, whatever. And I was say, boy, them feel dead and re 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 yeah. That is not that that's basically giving them ammo to like come after you. And that's that's basically what this hapless guy did though. But I again reiterate that this guy most likely had a criminal background, whatever. And I think he. And the thing you have to bear in mind is that him being a, a clergy or pastor in the church is not going to just make him just shed that life behind. What happens is that in cases like this, like okay, that part of their life is still in them. It just takes certain situations and people to bring out that what's really in their heart. And this whole COVID-19 restrictions have brought what's really in this guy's heart, though, and sad to see.
But that's all I can say. So this is for State of Jamaica and the Caribbean. Check out my YouTube pages, Miles Gusinferin, Miles Jeff Productions, Real Thoughts of Miles. Ciao.